Okay, so hopefully you've completed the CSS on your restaurant review project. This video is brought to you by Abby Pies Academy. This was pretty straightforward. First thing I had you do once you got the uh, code all loaded up was to take the head and add your style tags. So you should have opened the style tag right there after your title and then closed it after all of your style rules written in CSS. We then went ahead and took the H1 for my restaurant reviews, which you can see on line 48, and I gave you the code to make it Arial and Center. Font Family Arial, Text Align, Center, right there on line eight. So that's what gave us that nice centered My Restaurant Reviews, of course rendered in the Arial font. Now, if that was correct, I had you style the H2 and H3 tags as you like. So here's my H2 tag, the smithy, right there, H2, the smithy. And I styled that using the H2 selector, made it aerial, made it 1.25 M's or 125% of normal. And I chose the color dark slate gray. For the H3, went with aerial, 1.05 in the color fire brick. You can see examples of the H3 here and here, and also in the second review here and here. Once we did that, we went ahead and created custom bullets. You didn't have to use my cheeseburger bullet, but if you did, you had to make sure it was in the same folder or your desktop along with the HTML. And then to actually make it work, we use the list style image within the LI selector, to select the URL, and then burgerbullet.jpg, which is those lovely cheeseburger bullets that I am so fond of. That should style both your lists with the cheeseburger bullets. And then the final thing I had to do was basically be creative on your own, style it any way you want. So I went ahead and put each review in a separate box with a background color and black border. Now I did this using a technique where I created what are called divs or logical divisions. And divs are just blocks of code. So we have the div that starts here on line 49, ends on line 62, and everything in that is in the div with the ID smithy. So if I use the selector ID smithy, then everything is going to be applied to that div with the corresponding name. So I took a border, one pixel solid black, you can see that around both the divs, I took the background color of blanched ambient and a width of 75% of the screen. So this is actually adjustable as I adjust the width of the browser, the width of the div adjusts to 75%. Did the same thing for the black duck div, which starts here, gave this the ID of duck, which is what everyone calls the black duck cafe anyway. So the duck div ends on 60, Let's see, it was 76. Looks like I need to close the slash right there. There we go. So it ends on 76. And we basically styled that with the one pixel solid black border running all the way around, a background color of dark salmon, and a width of 75%. I hope your CSS made your restaurant reviews look good. And I hope you had fun completing the activity.